the man, the myth, the legend himself, Jimmy G, to the Las Vegas Raiders. Is this a overreaction? So when we think about Jimmy G, many people think about him as injury prone, being glass, being this, being yada. Like the list goes on and on and on, right? For whatever reason, Jimmy G has had this bad rap. And and I totally agree with him. My man Jameson is the biggest Jimmy G hater out there. But every time Jimmy G is on the field, every time he's on the field, he leads you to a championship. A championship. NFC, Super Bowl game. Jimmy G has led you there. Now, this year you can say Brock Purdy did it, whatever, yada, yada, yada. But Jimmy G had that team clicking. Jimmy G had that team rocking. Let's flash back to the first two weeks of the season. Trey Lynch looked like dog ass. And my dog's ass right now stinks because he ate some bread and some candy. He 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 got some stinky ass right, 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 right now. And Trey Lance looked worse than that. Jimmy G righted the chip and whatnot. So is it an overreaction that Jimmy G to the Raiders is going to happen? Guys, I do not think that is an overreaction. I I think this is a real possibility. Let's 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 think about this logically here, okay? Let's think about this. The Raiders have the seventh overall pick in this year's draft. Let's say they do go out and get a Jimmy G. They have an opportunity to basically draft a quarterback in the first round. They can go to Will Lovis, they can G.J. Stroud, uh, I think Bryce uh, Young is probably first off the list, but C.J. Trout or Will Lovis is probably the picks that they could get at that seventh overall pick. Or they can wait till the fourth or pick fifth fifth round and get my man Max Duggan from TCU. Either way, Jimmy G is going to be the starter there if he goes there. Jimmy G, we're going to have a gentleman's agreement saying, hey, you know what, man? The 49ers paid you $11.1 million last season to be a backup. I will pay you $14 million a season to be a starter for a year, knowing that you are here to train this guy to ultimately take your job either next year or the year after that. And I I think Jimmy G would be all for that. Jimmy G has kind of been in that role for, it seems like, ever in his career. He sat behind Tom Brady for five years, went to San Francisco, was hated ever since he went to San Francisco. Like, 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 it is what it is. Then we look at the head coaching situation in Las Vegas. Josh McDaniels was his offensive coordinator when he was in New England. There's that familiarity there. They they have a lot of connection. They go back. They share the same girlfriend for like a little while. Did they? Who really knows? Also, the Vegas Raiders have $46.3 million in cap space to spend this season. They already have a very good receiver core put together. They have Darren Waller. They have Devontae Adams. Uh, they, have, they have Hunter Ren- Renfro all there, basically waiting for that quarterback, Jimmy G. And then Josh Jacobs is a free agent, but, you know, his rookie deal was four years, $11 million, and his market value right now is probably $12.8 million. So you sign Jimmy G and Josh Jacob to the Vegas Raiders at both, at let's say, $12.8 million both. That gives you about $25 million in cap space still to go get other linemen to help on defense. The Vegas Raiders are in a very good spot right now, guys. It just, everything kind of makes sense because... What what was so successful with the 49ers? They had a good running game. They had a good receiver core. They had a good defense, right? What did the Raiders have? If they signed Josh Jacobs, they have a top five running back in the league. They have a damn good receiver core if the quarterback can get them the ball, per, you know, of, like effectively. What do they need to do? They need to beef up the offensive line and add some secondary in the defense, and the Raiders are right there. Combs had actually had the Raiders winning the division this season. Obviously, that he was clearly wrong, but the Raiders are right there. They are a game-managing quarterback away. Guys, this is not an overreaction. Like, this could legitimately happen. And if it does happen, me as a Kansas Chiefs fan, 
I'm saying, oh shit, I need to get drunk before every game because I'm going to be cheering my ass off because I, I need to get in Jimmy G.